What's up, good people? We are live at nine for another live at nine. I'm your host, Rob House. Got a special guest with me on the other side of the screen, Angela Kudger Kamenje. I did it right. 100%? Almost, but that's wow. good enough. <laughs> Come on, that's good enough, though. <laughs> I practiced it 15 times. I even broke it up. So okay, I got this. Dang it, that's okay. You know what? You, we're gonna have we're gonna have a good conversation today. And folks, I want to let you know something. If you have pen, paper, recorder, or something, you might want to bring it. You might want to capture some nuggets that we're going to talk about today. And we're talking about your health is your wealth. You want to know what that is, you're going to find out. Your health is your wealth. And I always say healthy is the new wealthy. You're going to get fit rich. So stay tuned. Tune in for the Fit World Live at 9 show with your host, fitness and high-performance coach, Rob Howes. The official Facebook Live night show. We're talking health, wellness, how to get it, and how to keep it. Every weekday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Healthy is the new wealthy, so let's get fit rich. Fit world, fit world, fit world. So what's up, good people? We're back. Angela, thank you for being on the show. Fit World Live at 9. Every Monday through Friday, I bring myself, or I might be lucky enough to have a special guest in the house or on the air with me talking health and wellness, something related to it. We want you to live better longer. Did you know that children's life expectancy is actually shorter than it's ever been? So our children today, their, their life expectancy, expectancy is shorter I wonder why that is. We got to change some things. People, are, the, the stats are going in the wrong direction. So I think Damn. that knowledge is power, Angela. So I want you to hit them with some power today. We, we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about some things that can literally transform some lives. This is the Fit World Live at Nine show. You know, we got Camp Fit. It's our program for kids. If you got young people, we were just talking about them. They need to eat better, guys. Listen, they can't eat just anything. And don't don't just shut them up in the corner with some sugary snacks, okay? We were just talking about this with somebody. A lot of times we give the, we give them treats for doing good, and then we punish them with with, with healthy food for for doing bad. Like what? No, no, no. We got it mixed up. And we got our forty days of wellness. That's our wellness tribe. It's our community here on Facebook. And this is the Fit World Live at Nine show. Angela, my goal is one billion healthy. That's my goal. Right? I love that goal, Rob. I want to get love that goal. And I know exactly how it's going to happen too. It's going to happen by connecting with people like you. Yeah, I brought it up. I brought it. And you, uh, are you the well? Are you the wellness queen? Or are you the queen of wellness? You're the queen of wellness. I absolutely am. Yes. I've been looking at your. I've been looking at your pictures and stuff. Angela, what got you started? I'm just going to. Ask, I'm going to read your bio first. Tell me, what got you started on this wellness path? Well, besides the. Well, besides the fact that I, I grew up in a very large family where the standard America diet was king, queen, jester, and everything else in between, um, one of the things that I had to learn was that certain types of foods did well for certain types of people in different situations. Mm. And, and and I had to learn what worked for me and then, Rob, to be comfortable and relaxed in living that type of lifestyle. And so for me, it was not just something that I needed to do for myself, but yeah. as a medical practitioner who's who's been in the field for over 18 years now, it was something that my patients needed to see too. Mm. Yeah. Um, and so for me, I learned that a lot of my patients were people who wanted to live better, they wanted answers, they wanted real resources and things that would actually get them solutions. And mm -hmm. it wasn't that they couldn't find them, they just didn't know how to use them even when they had them. And so for me, it was either continue on in a field that paid me very well, or start, start to step away from that field to really help people truly heal and become well. I mm -hmm. chose the latter. You chose the latter. That puts you on your path. Absolutely. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Now that our, our topic today, Angela, is your health is your wealth. 
And that's if you want to make it rain, if you want to make it rain, take care of your body. Uh huh. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so Angela, Angela uh, has been dubbed the queen of wellness, and is a 200-hour certified Kimmich Yoga instructor, level three, Reiki master, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, certified health coach, 20-day cure cleanse. Creator, wait a minute. Let's go back. Er, pump your brakes. Twenty day cure cleanse creator. Please tell me what that is. Talking about this, I love cure cleanse. Um, cure cleanse is a staple that I use to transition my life from the standard American diet um, mm-hmm. into vegetarianism and then subsequently veganism. It's the only cleanse on the market that actually has movement meditations in it, as well as transition recipes and ways for you to actually work out with just your body weight. So it really is the cure for whatever it is you've got going on, whether that's lack of motivation, lack of movement, missing the right kind of recipes and actually combining foods the right way so that they do heal you while you're cleansing. Hmm. And so Cure actually takes the participant on a journey to come off of certain foods and then how to add things back the right way so that they catch the things that don't work for them. So it always helps the person actually keep their results. That's good. That's good. I love Cure Cleanse. 20 day Cure Cleanse creator and leader of the Royal Wellness Tribe. It's a wonderful tribe. Matter of fact, let's see, speaking of tribe, let's see who's on here watching. Make sure to see. If you guys got, as we're going through this live, folks, if you have any questions for Angela, for my guests here, please shoot them out. We want your questions to get answered. We're going to go deep in here about, okay, here we go. It looks like it's clear. Let's see who we got joining us today so far. Carla, what's up, Carla? Tina Michelle, what's up, Tina? Actually, I saw, um, oh, Jillian's out there. Selwyn Ward. Selwyn, man. What's up, brother? We got to get you on here, too. What is going on? So, so tell me this. You have a tribe. I love this. What 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 do you do with your, what do you do with your tribe? What do you do with these? What do, how are you, how are you infusing them? I know you got you got a variety of things. I went on your page and I saw like I saw you bending over backwards. I saw yoga. I saw I saw you with a microphone. You were speak. So obviously there's a lot of branches to the root. But when someone comes to your tribe, what is the message that you're giving them? Mm, that they can be powerful in their wellness, that they can uh, understand that wellness is their birthright. And then they've got the ability to tap into not just the community, but a real ecosystem to help them stay well and surrounded with people that want to do the same. Mm. So that's, that's essentially the gist of the tribe. So we are full of women living their purpose who mm. want to stay well while they shine in their gift. So they are women who are experts, authors, coaches, speakers, influencers of all different levels in there, making sure that they stay well as they continue to be change agents on this planet. What what, what are some things that you that what what would you think is one of the biggest struggles that that people have? You know, what what do you think? Like, I know obviously there's a variety of them, um, starting with discipline. But what is one common theme, common thread that you see, you know, with people that, you know, that you support? You know what? Believe it or not, Rob, one of the things that I've found to be a common thread of where people fall short and a lot of um, health, wellness and fitness experts rarely factor this thing in is the spirituality of the person who's seeking help. Mm. Um they, they they rarely factor this in. And for a long time, I didn't either. The only thing that made me factor it in was I'm always polling my tribe. I want to give people what they need. And mm-hmm. so instead of making a product and giving it to them, I ask the tribe what they will need to help them be who they need to be for their own tribes. Yeah. One of the main things that they said they needed was real spiritual balance. And so a lot of people think that throwing out another meal plan is what people want. They think that working out at the gym when really it's the deeper spirituality and the connection to self that they miss or Mm -hmm. that they're missing. Um, And so and so that we we've shed like a really big light on that in our group. Um, So it has become a really a really great spiritual group as well. And and I'm I'm really loving everything these queens are doing. So. 
Interesting you say that because um, that really is the foundation um, of our human existence. I think I believe it was Dr. Wayne Dyer, and I think he got this from somebody. He said that we're not um, humans having a spiritual experience; we're spirits having a human experience. And so we're spirits first. So you can do all the things to your body, you can lose all the weight, get in shape, you can get all the money, but if your spirit's broken, you're broken. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I think it's easy to bypass that because it's you don't see it. It's not like you walk past the mirror or you see the mirror. You know, you know how you feel emotionally, but you don't see spirit. So it's hard to gauge that until you gauge it and you see by actually connecting with it, how it infuses you. Right. Right. Um, one of the things and I and I rarely tell people this, but one of the things that I'm very, very gifted at is being able to see spirit, sense spirit um, of a person. So even if they uh, are showing up, putting their best effort forward, they're shining, they're looking amazing. I always can see beyond what the surface is, even mm. if I never tell them. Yeah. Um, so I always try to infuse something of the spirit into anything that I offer, which is why Cure Cleanse has all those different self-care items and ways to um, garner engagement with your own spirit and really become that cure. Um, So eating is not just, you know, what's on the end of your fork or what's on your plate. It really Mm -hmm. is that act of worship in how you nourish your body. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. You, uh, now, I saw this on your page. Don't set goals, create habits. Talk, let's talk about this for a minute. Let's talk about this. What? Why? Why? Why <laughs> should we set goals? Why should we create habits? Tell me why, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, Rob. What, what was the last goal you set? The last goal I set? Um, to be able to jump on top of my dresser. Did you do that? I did. And I, now I have another one. I have another dresser over there. Because I hurt my knee about four months ago, and I thought I was, you know, done jumping. But then I, I started rehabilitating, and I put a goal in my mind. I was going to get this knee back, regenerate it, more, m- mainly because the doctor said that I was done. That's all, that's all I needed to hear him say. I just needed somebody to tell me, you know, they're not, not believing me. That's kind of how it works best for me. <laughs> I drink Haterade. <laughs> What were you so going to say? So, so you needed to fuel you, right? Yeah, okay. I need to fuel. It, it fires me up. Here's the thing about goals. I love goals. And, you know, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like habits are habits are going to take us further. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Goals in and of themselves, a lot of times. And this is a great time to talk about this because the new year's coming up. Ooh, a lot yeah. of people setting a lot of goals, a lot of Ooh. intentions. You have a lot of people actually, Rob, that have decided not to set as many goals. They've decided not to set any resolutions. And the reason is not that they don't think that they can do it. The reason is because they didn't get it done last time they said it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they make the choice not to either not to even take that path mm. instead of taking bite sized steps to create habits that change our lives forever. Yeah. People set these lofty goals, and when they miss the mark, unfortunately, Rob, subconsciously, our mind remembers the failure. We rarely can rack up the wins and say, oh, I can point out every single time I won this year, right? If you're my client, you can, because I teach you how to keep up with your wins. Mm -hmm. So that when you get into that space where you're like, I really didn't hit that goal, I feel like a failure, or I'm not doing as great, we have to find a way to make sure that when we're setting our goals, if we're going to choose to do those, that they can quickly become habits for us, Mm -hmm. that they're not something that we're just doing because we feel like we need to get it done or we're coming out of the space of, I didn't get this done last year. I owe it to myself. Mm -hmm. Right. What about the habit and what kind of habit is it going to create when you do hit that goal? So that's what that's about. I like that. I like that. And I have a very, very, very similar, similar theory to that. You know, goals are great, you know, but, you know, in order to, you got to think it's almost like a strategy, like a strategy is great, but it doesn't work without tactics, you know, so a strategy is trying to accomplish something, but you need the individual tactics that's going to make the strategy happen. So by you setting habits, that's inevitably going to create the goal. If you create good habits, obviously, you know, and then then we could talk about creating triggers for the habits. We can go deeper than that, but the habits. For me, it wasn't about 
jumping on top of the dresser, the goal, yeah, that was. But ultimately, how was I going to do that? Well, I had to have the habit of every day to strengthen my knee. I have seven exercises that I do to strengthen my knee. Without that, I can have all the goals I want. That goal would just be a, be a wish. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. I look at goals like checkers. I look at habits like chess. This, this, so it's not checkers. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> right. So I look at it. I look at it like that. Right. Yeah. Um, the habit's gonna stay with you longer. And 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 all of us are great at forming habits. Look mm-hmm. at all the ones we've formed up until this point. So yeah. so we're great at it. You know. Interesting. We we, we got habits we don't even know about. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's up, folks? All right, we got Jackal is in the house. Tom Leilani. Oh, God, Julius. Julius, was, I interviewed him about, about a few weeks ago. He lost over 200 pounds. What's up, Julius? Congrats yeah. on that. Yeah. That is what's up. He said, yep, motivation is the key. You got it. Who else we got in here? Oh, we got Marcy. She's going to be joining us at the Recharge Conference. Dr. Marcy Ross, she was on on Monday. Matter of fact, Marcy, I can't um, wait to meet you. Yeah, you, actually, she does a, she does a Wellness Wednesday every, every Wednesday. She, you should definitely connect with her on that. I love, I love communities like this where you got folks, like-minded people doing different things and you can just kind of share. Cause I got my tribe. I think a lot of my tribe is on here now and it's interesting. I, I bring people, even folks who do the same thing I do. I even bring them into my, I even bring them into my group and folks will think, oh, why, why would you do that? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's bad for business. It's, you know, here's the deal. You know, I'm not going to be able to reach every single person on the planet. Even folks that are in my circle, and I may not have the thing that they need. I may have only half of it. Maybe someone else has the other thing they need. I've been put on this plan to get one billion healthy, Angela. That's my goal. You know, that is my goal, my mission. So, so okay, let's 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 back up for a second. So, if you just tune in, I'm here with Angela, the queen of wellness. Okay, the queen of wellness. She's here, and <laughs> we're talking. Your health is your wealth. I don't care how much you get paid. I've never seen a U-Haul following a hearse, ever. Never seen it. When you go, you're gone. When you go, you're gone. So while you're here, living your best life is going to happen when you're at your healthiest state. Am I right? Am I right? Absolutely. If you follow some of the top, most influential people in the world, many of them live and die by their health rituals. Mm. Um, so I find it strange that, um, you know, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, especially those just starting out as influencers, tend to kind of put that on the back burner. Or um, like one person told me the other day, let me focus on this first and then I'll get to my wellness later. Um, I, I know. Yeah. Right. I was like. And after that, I didn't know what to say. So I didn't say anything to that person. (laughs) I am in the business of doing a few different things, but convincing people about the, the, um, the caliber of what they can bring when they're well, I'm not in the business of doing that. Yeah. Not in the business of doing that. (laughs) You know what? I I just retired. I I used to be in that business. I was the CEO of that. (laughs) It became very taxing. And then uh, I was, then I start feeling a certain kind of way. Like, mm-hmm. you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. The only responsibility I'm going to take, I'm going to be accountable for producing the great content mm-hmm. and opening the door of opportunity. I'm not going to be responsible for bringing the horse to the water. It, quite honestly, it's out of alignment with my mm-hmm. ability to help the people who are ready for change. So I am not in the business of convincing. I am so sorry. You know what? It it flows better too. I got some folks on here, man. Like, uh, oh, here she is. She just joined our tribe. Uh, she just joined our tribe. Uh, maybe I don't know, less than a month ago, Jillian. And like, she's one of the. She's like a, a a perfect example. Somebody I just meet. She sees a video. She asks some questions. She's ready to turn life back around. Had a, had a baby. She's like, what's going on? I tell her what's going on. She signs up. She says, how do I do this? I mean, it's like boom, 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 boom. Those are the folks, man. That will go from A to Z. Now, I'm not saying everyone has to move that fast. Everyone has their own pace. But you just got to move. Yeah. You got you to gotta move. And I like what you were saying about rituals, if you if you start following. Because, you know, I'm, I am a personal development junkie. Like, put Pookie's face here, my face here. Like, this is identical. I, I mean, I, 
I can't get enough of it because every time I, I watch it, I learn something. Even if I watch the same thing. Uh, and what all of them have, almost every single one, is a morning ritual. Absolutely. Something. Absolutely. 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 Um, there's a ritual, and, and anyone who follows probably has already heard of this ritual. But if you're new to me, um, there is a four step ritual that I always share with people. Hmm. And it's just the four W's wake, water, worship, and workout. Wake, water, worship, and workout. Can somebody put that in there? Can somebody please put that in there. Wake. Thanks. Wake up, meaning pick your time. How do you wake up? Do you wake up and go into meditation? How do you wake up? Choose it and stick to it. Water. How do you first begin to hydrate yourself? There are people that do yoga for several hours in the morning without a drop of water. Um, there are people who beast the workout in the morning without a drop of water. They hydrate later. How do you hydrate yourself? Worship. How do you spend time with your own body or in, a, in your own spiritual or religious space? How mm. are you doing that when you wake up and mm. then work out? How are you getting your blood flowing? How are you waking the body systems up? Now, there's ways for you to do all of this at one time if you have a great ritual. Mm -hmm. And so you definitely, when you get up every morning, you do not want to give any of yourself to anyone else until these four bases are covered, period. Mm. They mm -hmm. make the perfect regimen that will extend your life and boost your ability to get divine downloads. Like, oh. period. End of story. End of story. That's a, that's a good way to, to to start your morning. End of story. Beginning of your day. Oh, that that's it. Yeah. Yep. Water, worship, workout, and mm -hmm. um, the interesting thing about it is the the working out. It doesn't have to be a, a full hour. That to be something that can get the blood flowing, the endorphins flowing, uh, and just get your body chemistry activated. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. that's all it needs to be. It doesn't have to be this jump up. If that, if you want to jump up and beast the workout and get into your gear and do all your good stuff, go ahead and do what feels good to you. But if you want to do light stretching or Tibetan rites to Tibetan music or a little bit of yoga, some breath work. You you feel free to do what feels good to you that gets your blood moving. That's yeah. what it's about. Awesome, that's good stuff. Antoine said, "Love it, love this." And logged on and got food. <laughs> All right, man, that's my boy. We grew up together playing. We was competitive too. Our, we would have neighborhood football games. That's like back in the day stuff where my neighborhood would play his neighborhood. We actually play real football games with eleven on eleven. Pretty amazing. So. Let's so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this picture right here. I, I, I know I I know I, I went in I went on here and, and got the couple of them. I said so. You you go in here. You where where is this at? And what were you speaking about? <laughs> oh my God! How old is that? It's it's, it's old. I think. Uh, geez, I look twelve years old. So um, <laughs> did I age well? Let me play. Yeah, you age well. Did I age well? You, you um, got the fountain in your backyard. You know, we're gonna talk about that in a second. I'm drinking out of tonight. You know, I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the country. But um, this was one of my first speaking engagements at a brunch in Buckhead in Atlanta. Absolutely beautiful event hosted by Pastor Sheila Ashley, um, who's also the cleanup woman. She's also in personal development, transformation space with celebrity clientele. Absolutely amazing. Very close friend of mine. Um, we are actually hosting a vision board party here in Atlanta together. So, um, mm. but this was one of the first times that I actually got to speak as a wellness expert. Um, oh. And I was so nervous. Craziest thing in the world. I was so mm. nervous, um, <laughs> but I don't think they could tell it. It was really, it was really, it was a great, it was a great experience. I'll say it, that. It's it absolutely amazing experience. Let's talk, let's, let's talk about that vision board because we're we're, we're, okay. at, our tribe, we're 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 doing vision we're doing vision boards uh to kick off the new year. So interesting. We, we, matter of fact, when you mentioned this to me of uh like last week, I was like, wow, I got I got to get some nuggets from Angela. See what she's talking about. What, 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 I love vision boarding. What do you guys do? So for the vision, so this is going to be my first time actually hosting one outside of my home. Um, there's usually people that come to my home. Oh my gosh, that photo. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there's usually here. people. There's usually people that come to um, my home where I live and we do vision board parties here. So my son, who's 10 years old, I don't know if you follow. He actually went to um, Kemet or Egypt with me and became a certified yoga instructor. One of the youngest ones on the planet at this point. I saw and he's a vegan, right? He no, he is not. He will kill a steak. Like, let's be clear. Like, oh, he, okay. It's not vegan. <laughs> yeah. It's not vegan. Um, and he makes it known. Like, where is the chicken? Um, <laughs> So no, he's not vegan, but um, he knows vision boards. And mm. I taught him at a very early age, the art of manifestation, um, mm. that manifesting what we want in life knows no right or wrong. It only knows breath. It only knows intent. And it only knows um, what we bring to the forefront of our minds and, and, and the emotions we attach to it. And yeah. so he learned early on in life how to manifest whatever he wants. We put the magic of vision boarding onto that, and he's been able to do so many different things. Um, oh my gosh, it's just, it's unbelievable. Half the things I don't even share, because it's just, people would be like, how? Like, show me how. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so vision boarding for us is a powerful way to hone in on manifestation and to actually really get exactly what it is we, we're wanting. Um, but before asking for what we want, to be crystal clear on what that thing is. Aha. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. uh -huh. This is what I'm talking about. And this is what, this is, this, this is the space where a lot of people are and they just get lost in the woods wandering like the children of Israel just wandering around because the vision is not clear. And so mm -hmm. And, and not just clear, but crystal clear. Because mm -hmm. the hardest target to hit is the one that's not there. So if you don't know what you're aiming at. And so that's the process. I, I know that's the training and process, helping people to get that clarity on what it is that you're seeking. So then you can visualize it and then you can obtain it. So like, what's the gap? Like, Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked that. Um, the gap is not being able to quiet the mind. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it sounds simple, but we give a lot of attention and mind space to things that just don't serve us. When oh, we're able to really quiet the mind, then we can bring into our thought process exactly what we want. And when we're able, this is a powerful thing, Rob, because when we're able to truly get clarity and get really clear on what we want, we collapse the time it takes for us to receive it. Mm -hmm. Completely can collapse it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a living witness to that in so many, so many ways over, right? Mm -hmm. um, to the point where when I'm crystal clear on something, it will show up within 24 hours. It will show up within 24 hours. Um, Darren Hardy calls that success compression. Mm. Success it will show up within 24 I hours. Love it. I love it. Anytime I waver, it takes a lot longer. Anytime I waver in thought form or thought process, it takes a lot longer because I've set the power of human intention and needing to wait for something to materialize for me. And everyone else does this too. Mm -hmm. Everybody else does this too. We all do it. Um, yeah. But the power of human intention is something that's just been, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, amazing and overlooked. You know, Definitely. I, I, I believe, I believe when, um, when you have pure intention, that's how you get God's attention. I oh, believe my God. your alignment is, is so important. But we, again, we were just talking about spirit and how people kind of look past that and as not as important when really that's the foundation that connects everything. It's and everything. you can, and that silent thing, that silent thing you said, um, you know how noisy it is? We have 60,000 thoughts a day in our head. 60,000 thoughts a day. And unfortunately, 80% of them are negative, you know, because that's just mm -hmm. our brain. Is. So we have to really be intentional about what we're thinking about. It's because our, it's our human nature to gravitate towards negativity and things that don't matter. So all that noise, how the heck are you going to hear? And it's so funny because the human is, we are great at manifesting. Like all of us are pros at it. We're experts at it. Every single thing we have in our space, we manifested it somehow. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. single thing that's around mm -hmm. us, yeah. we manifested it. We're, we're amazing at it. Yeah. We've just got to get clear on what else we'd like. Um, 
and, and be bold enough to think that thing and invite that thing into our space. Um, it's funny because I put up a, a post about Tinder. I had no idea Tinder existed. Like, I'm like, people date online? Like, who, what, how? <laughs> right? Like, who does that? <laughs> How long have people been doing that, Rob? Am I like a dinosaur? No, um, no, it's been happening. It's been, it's, it's been happening. I, uh... <laughs> and it's funny because I started getting even more inboxes. Are you going to get on Tinder? You don't have to. You can just call me. So I won't. Okay. <laughs> so things like that. Or people saying, oh, stay off Tinder. It's not good for you. I'm like, so I would never go there because I know how to manifest who I want. Mm. It would never be an option for me. Yeah. yeah. It just wouldn't. <laughs> it just wouldn't be an option. You know. It just would not. That's a power. And and I, I'm I'm a firm firm believer in that. Um, what, one of my gifts is discernment. Uh, as you were speaking earlier, you know, I had that since I was uh, before I can remember. Just being able to be still and present and recognize spirit and essence around me. Um, mm -hmm. but to to connect to that power, to connect to that, which we all have the ability to do. Oh my God, yeah. But to connect to it seems so difficult. And, but when you do, and, and, and this is what I suggest. I suggest if you have not, I'm not, I'm not talking about just praising God. I'm not talking about just putting on some good music. I'm not talking about, you know, some good feelings over a duration of time. I'm talking about being connected to self. And feeling the spirit flow through you. I, this is what I'm talking about. If you have not gotten to this place yet, I highly recommend that you get on a journey. I get on a journey and begin to seek because you don't know the quality of life until you do. I I did not know. I did not know. And you know what's interesting? When you do that, it also changes your perspective on things. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> You know, we totally have some idea, right? Yeah. Most people have no idea how absolutely powerful they, they are. Most people cannot even look at themselves in the mirror long enough to see the divine in their own eyes. They can't. Wow. Um, Why? But Why? I challenge you, if you're on this live stream, if you're catching it now, if you catch it later, if you share it, whatever you do, the next time you're in the mirror, I want you to stand there and I want you to look into your own eyes until you begin to sense, see, feel the divine that has come in you to stand up on this planet yeah. because it is there. Independent of Tinder, <laughs> independent mm. of any other cause, situation, circumstance, there is a divine power in you that is here to change the lives of the people on this planet. Love it. It's just waiting on you to say that it's okay to invite it in. But most people don't even like, and I used to be one of those people. I could never look at myself. And the day that I had the opportunity to really just look at my, look at my own self in the eyes, all I could feel was just this disappointment. And I didn't even know why. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh gosh, what's up with me? Yeah. Um, but I kept coming back and I kept staying there until I begin to understand who it is I really was and why it is I really came to this existence. And then after that, the rest was history. It was mm. like, okay, I have the gift of let go. If you're not in alignment with the divine that's, that, that, that's raised up here, you got to roll. Mm. Yeah. I love, I love it. Julian said, I need, I need the gap and no, not the clothing store. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 get nervous, I get this nervous energy a lot of times, um, and and well, I just need the gap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Why? Well, so you're saying for your negative thoughts, you need your own mental app like Tinder, and leave all the suggestive thoughts there. LOL, and just hone in on the positives. That's that's yes. The, that's One good. of the things that I really love to do is, and something that I, 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 I tend to teach a lot of my clients, is to keep a what I like to call a win box. And you mm. can use this with, I don't know, if you're shopping Louis Vuitton, if you're shopping Yves Saint Laurent, whatever it is you're shopping, and they give you little cute boxes and shoe boxes and whatever. You can turn that box into what I like to call a win box. Now, in that win box, you just put on little strips of paper all the different things you've succeeded at. 
Mm. Little bitty little note. Anytime you are feeling like this well of thoughts that are coming up that are in many cases, the negative thoughts we have are simply not our truth. The wins, the experiences we've had where we've done amazing, that's our truth. Yeah, That's the thing we can stand in. You just need something to help remind you of it all the time. And the the more the more um the more you put into that wind box, meaning for instance, if you do a shoe box versus a carved wood box, the more intent you put into that box and the greater it will the greater return it will begin to give you. Like my wind box is actually wood carved. I got it from another country. Um so I keep up with my wins at any time. I feel like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I go in that box and I'm like, yeah, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. A thousand times over, I'm a winner. This is my mm. truth. Love this it. is my truth. Yeah. Yeah. And, and sometimes because of life, we forget. Sometimes, you know, life gets heavy and it, it, it can uh, drain our memory. So having those things written down will, will serve as a reinforcement. I like that. Yes. I like Absolutely. that. Let's talk about <laughs> let's, let's talk about this here. Let's talk about that. How, how did you find this? What, did you manifest this into your life? What happened here? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> some, <laughs> so actually, someone actually texted this to me. Um, oh, my, wow. one, of my, one of my older sisters, so she was like, oh, my God, this dog looks like you. I'm like, kind of, but let's do a split screen. And I, I did a split with it. I was like, oh, it looks just like me. So, um, <laughs> Oh my God, I post it like every year. It always gets so, I'm going to use it, you know, in light of this whole Facebook algorithm thing popping yeah. off. I'm definitely going to use this post again. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Recharge 2018. Yeah. This is good. So, were you, were you, you were on last year? I was not actually um, there. I, I love Sheree Good, Sheree Good for this. Um, there were no keynotes last year. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned, because we worked on other things together, was I wish there were a way for people to plug in and really get a little bit more knowledge, nuggets that they can really take with them and kind of turn the expo experience into like a conference. Um, and she said, mm -hmm. I'll think about it. So I'm so proud of Cherie that she made this yeah. actually happen and she birthed this vision. Um, oh, yeah. and I, as soon as, as soon as it came out, I was like, I need my spot. Like I'm coming period in the story. I'm coming. <laughs> um, so, well, where so you, I'm excited. Where where I'm you? actually in Atlanta. I'm well, outside of Atlanta in the sticks, but I'm in Atlanta. I'm near Atlanta. And so, and so yeah. what, what, what are you talk? What are you talking about here at the conference? So I'm excited to be to be able to talk about their um, specific wellness strategies that literally bridge the gap between your wellness and your wealth. There are a lot of things that business owners are doing every day that lend to s that scale their business that yeah. they can also be doing to increase and have wellness equity as well. Hmm. So it's not like you know this isn't my thing. Let me get to that later. You're already doing it every day. You just need to apply it to your wellness. Um, and so I show up to literally give them a different way of seeing things that will bridge the gap between their wellness and their wealth. So mm. that's what I'm going to be talking about there. And I'm so excited. Um, yeah. I will likely introduce a breathing technique there as well. So oh, nice. uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about the whole thing. I can't that's wait. Tough. That's awesome right there. Sounds like something will be powerful. I look forward to meet you in person. We um. Hi. Me and my, my partner, Coach Coach Ross, we're going to be there as well. And um, are you, you going to have a table as well? I'm not sure yet. Um, I have an assistant who's going to assist me with something because I'm very strategic mm -hmm. <laughs> when I go to these kinds of places. Yeah. Um, so I'm just not sure yet. I would love to have a table. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. If you just tune in, guys, I'm here with Angela, the queen of wellness. And uh, she's doing amazing things. She has a tribe. She uh, is just helping folks to just take their life back. Vision boards, looking at your destiny, getting intentional about what you're trying to create. All right, we don't want goals. We want habits, baby. All right? We want. We want habits. And, um, of course, you know, Fit World, we, what we're trying to do is connect as many people as we can in the community because our goal is one billion healthy. And uh, you can't do anything by yourself. Nothing can be done alone. And so what we want to do is we want to connect with like-minded people, organizations. 
We want to bring their tools and resources. And through this platform here, through this Facebook Live night show, we get an opportunity. And I just had something done today, um, um, Angela, on Fiverr. On Fiverr. I, I know you know Fiverr. I know you use that. I know you do. This is uh, this has been like a godsend to me. I, I thought I was Ill when I first found out about it, I thought it was illegal. I thought it was illegal because I said, there's no way in the world that someone's going to charge me 60% less. Mm. But then I found out the format. It's people who are hungry for work. Now, don't get me wrong. You get some crap. You get some crap on Fiverr. But read the reviews, guys. But um, I had this done. This little 60-second video. Check this out, folks. Just got done today. Attention wellness pros. Every day you're thinking of ways to better serve your clients, helping them to lose weight, maintain that weight, and just stay in great shape. This involves healthy meal planning, meal prepping for the week, goal setting, a structured fitness plan, communication with the ones you serve on a daily or weekly basis. Your clients also need a way to track their own metrics, monitor their progress, and simply stay engaged with their wellness journey. Well, that's what the Fit World app does and more. FitWorld makes it easy to get and stay healthy with state-of-the-art nutritional technology. You have the ability to customize meal plans or choose from thousands of already existing meal plans in our database. You want your clients to work on abs today? Choose your desired workout from the video library. Everything you need to measure and impact the success cycle of your clientele is here. So give us a call for a free demo. We would love to partner with you. FitWorld, connecting the world to wellness. Wellness. Connecting the I world. absolutely love that. Connecting the world to wellness, Angela. That's what, that's what our job is. We're connecting the world to wellness. You know, and what I've been just blessed also, when you said discernment, that's also understanding your surroundings and understanding oh, um, yeah. times, right? Yeah. And we are in a time, we are in a day and age where technology can really be your friend and you can use it as an asset. And in the next 10 years, 80% of business is going to be done on the phone or on the computer. Right, right. I used to be one of those people that when people were like, "Oh, do you have a an email list or this or that?" I'm like, uh, "I don't, I don't do business that way. I don't really do." And then I had to learn like, if you don't, if you don't have some form of tech or on the cutting edge of tech, you're not in business. Yeah, you're not in business. Yeah. Like, let's be clear. If you're if you're not garnering your digital footprint at this point, mm -hmm. you're not going to be in business for very long. Yeah. Um, so, so, so there's some there's some merit to doing things in person too. But billions of people are online. There billions. ain't enough doors you can knock on in Not person. Enough. You have to be online. It, so. It's, it's so crazy. I, I, I know we're, we're sliding off into some conversation, but this is good. It's so crazy because back in the days, you know, twenty years ago, you know, to to shoot a video and then get yourself in front of, uh, let's say, ten thousand people, it would cost you two thousand dollars. Absolutely. Now you can get them on Facebook, the hottest, the hottest place on the planet, with as far as engagement. And for five dollars, you can get in front of ten thousand people. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Or and more. I, 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 so here's the: I love health and wellness, but yeah. business, business is innate for me. Yeah. Business is innate. Like. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I love business. I love I'm business. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for this app. I'm excited for you, Rob. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate your excitement and your joy, your energy, and just what you're doing. Very authentic. As you, you know, you, you got the, the vision to see things, and you know, I always get an opportunity to talk, speak to a lot of people. And you know, not everybody, you know, it's not it's not their fault. They, they just don't know how to be authentic. Either they're nervous or they're not unsure about themselves. It could be a whole lot of fact. Who knows? But when you meet authentic people who have a purpose, clear on that vision, and they know their stuff, oh, it's, it's game on. It's game on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's game on. Jordan, fourth yeah. quarter. You saw a right. buzzer beater. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Angela, thank you for being on. The Football Live at Nine show, uh, what would you like to leave the people with? In closing, anything we haven't covered, something you want to share, what is it? 
Oh my gosh, Rob, I could share so many things. I know. Um, I know. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, if I could leave you with um, a quote or something that, that I use when I'm looking at what to do with my own life and for my own self. Um, every single thing that you do to your body or you give to your body has to be a mutual exchange. Hmm. So don't eat something that's not going to give you something back. Don't do something that doesn't feel good to you. It feels good to your body. Doesn't matter what everyone else is doing. Do what makes your soul sing. Like do that thing that feels good to you. When it's hmm. time for your body to change or transition or do something different, your soul will tell you. You don't have to jump on the next wave of whatever it is that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, and then get the support you need. There's so many ways. People like Rob, who are amazing at what they do. Um, people like myself, who build ecosystems for people to get layered support around things that they need. Yeah. Um, reach out to somebody. If you're one of those people who wants to Google your way to great health, there's also that option for you. Because me and Rob ain't about to convince you. Like, let's be crystal clear. We ain't going to convince you. Yeah. Um, but if I could leave you with that, do what feels good to you. You know, tap in, tune in, turn on to mm. what your body's telling you that you need anyway. Mm. And then go after it the same way you would go after Tesla if somebody was giving it to you for free. Go mm. after it. Right. Oh. Um, so, yeah. So I think that's that's what I want to leave you with. Mutual exchange for sure. Mm -hmm. Don't dare eat something that you don't know what it's going to give your body back. You mm -hmm. don't know what it's, what it's giving you. So. So, yeah. Good words. Good words. Live today. Yeah. And, you know, you, you know, our closing phrase, the future is what you do today. So do something today that will impact your tomorrow. Absolutely. Peace out.